Hi, my name is John. You've probably seen other videos of mine, but this video takes a bit of an explanation. I was a quilter way back in the 1970s during the American Revolution Bicentennial, and I made a lot of traditional quilts. Um, most of them won awards, and by chance one of my quilts was actually picked up by two collectors, Bob and Artist James, and it ended up in the University of Nebraska at the International Quilt Study Center. So I've got a good background in quilting, but all of them were pretty traditional. What I'm about to show you is hardly traditional. I started something called the Jock Quilt Project because quilting still has a very feminine aura and I said to myself I can do something with this. Now the idea is not original. I saw a jock strap quilt somewhere else but I said no I can do this one better. So I channeled my efforts into the most masculine thing I could think of which was jock straps and turned it into a quilt. This is the finished product. Now, there's a lot of work that went into this that may not show in the video. And I'll tell you, the hardest part of this whole quilt was actually obtaining the jocks. I mean, face it, if, if you were, you know, walked, I walked up to you and I said, Hey, Bob, you got an old jock that you're not using? I'm trying to make a quilt out of old jock straps. And that would be the reaction I would get. So I ended up buying a good deal of these jocks, although they were donated. And I also found somebody who could embroider names on the, the jock straps, the names of the donors. And I was able to get them all done. And then, of course, I had to start the project. Now, there's 38 jock straps in this quilt. And it took quite a while to get it all put together. And then once I started, it went very, very quickly on assembly. One thing I learned is that there are lots of different kinds of jock straps. There's jocks like these that have very, very tight pouches. There were jocks like these which had very stretchy pouches because gravity is supposed to hold them in place. And I'll tell you the truth. These jocks actually work pretty well on the other video I have of the wall hanging because gravity holds them in place. I also found out even within a company there's a distinct difference in quality in sewing. Evidently nobody really cares about how well they're sewn because they're underwear and now I know why women complain about underwires. Anyway, I worked on this in several stages and several steps. But I did come up with something very unique for the corners. I'll show you a corner here. This is a, what they call a baby jock strap. It's actually the coaster, a coaster. They were very popular in the 60s. Um, they were for um, highball glasses. In fact, I remember when they uh, said on the waistband, uh, for your highballs. These are made by the bike company. They actually come in little blister packs, just like regular adult-sized bike jock straps. And I got them from a friend of mine, and I used them in the corners. Before it was quilted, it actually measured 9 feet by 6 feet, but it was machine quilted. Let me show you the, the machine quilting here. It was machine quilted. I found somebody, uh, a commercial quilter with a long arm machine who was actually able to uh, do the quilting for me because there's no way I could have done this by hand. And then I did put the binding on myself. So this is the centerpiece of the jock strap quilt pro the jock quilt project. I would like to thank everybody who donated a jock to the project. Uh, many of these jocks bear names of friends of mine who did not have a jock to donate. But I would like to thank those who did, including uh, Tom, Dave, John, Wayne, Brian who donated a couple, Tarot Bear who donated a couple, Reuben. Um, this particular man also donated about 12 of them to me. 
my friend John, Jack, also uh, I should also mention Draz and Pierre who have jocks in other projects, but I should point out this Harvard 1950 jock uh, is a good 60 years old. It's still in relatively good shape. It's cotton and it was made by a company in Boston. How do you, how can you get around that? As I said, they're all embroidered with various friends of mine's names. And this is the jock quilt. It goes on display for Pride Month, the first week of June, alongside two other pieces. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you check out the rest of the Jock Quilt Project videos. And I hope you realize, is there a purpose for these? No. The purpose was to elicit a laugh and to have a lot of fun in doing it. Thank you.